London, as much mud in the streets as if the waters had but newly retired from the face of the earth, smoke lowering down from chimney pots, dogs, undistinguishable in mire, horses scarcely better, splashed to their very blinkers, fog everywhere. like that at all anymore. There's no fog. There's no mud. There are no dogs or horses. In fact, it's not Dickensian. In English, if we want to describe hard living or working conditions, like something from one of my novels, we can call it Dickensian. Dickensian. Strange horse. I wrote these. Modern London is very tiring. I think I need to take some rest in one of my favourite public houses. I'm pleased to see it's still here. I can't believe it. He tried to charge me three pounds fifty for a pint of beer. I said to him, that's ten weeks' wages for a twelve-year-old boy in a factory. I offered him half a penny, and he said, please, sir, I want some more. As if stealing one of my lines wasn't bad enough. When I refused to pay, he called me a Scrooge. In English, when we want to talk about someone who hates spending money, we can call them a Scrooge, which is the name of one of my characters. He was very mean with money. Scrooge was just one of many characters I created, who are among the most memorable in English literature. But some say London itself is a character in my novels. A character that has changed. What the dickens is that? In English, if we are surprised or angry, we can say, what the dickens? What the dickens is that? It's my eye quill. What the dickens is a bit of an old fashioned expression, but then, I'm an old-fashioned man. In fact, I'm dead. And I've been dead since 1870. I'm buried over there in Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey with some of the greatest writers of the English language. So, in a way, I'm still here in London, although it's a very different London to that of my memories.